Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm starting this vlog off with showing you a little snippet of my cat's birthday. So they both turned seven, they both were born on the same day. We actually had their mother who was pregnant so we basically like rescued her and she was pregnant with I think how many kittens? I think six kittens in total. I'm doing the voiceover in the garden by the way so <laughs> you're probably going to hear all the birds and everything which is always nice, a little bit of ambience. But yeah, I treated them with a special breakfast and then they had some treats, like they really love their cat yogurts. And then I've got these catnip balls which are really, really strong. I recommend them if you have got cats. It's the Yao Company. I think it's the only catnip that really actually works. So you can see Leo's playing a bit of football. <laughs> it doesn't have very great football skills, I have to say. This was their main gift. I got them this little chair. It's made out of cardboard and I thought that my grey cat would really like it. I bought it for her mainly to be honest. I got a toy for Leo but he didn't play with it and he took it over this chair and it comes with this catnip but the catnip is literally does not work. It's like mint. I don't know why there's a few catnip strains and there's a mint like sweet smelling one and it does jack all. It doesn't do anything for the cats whatsoever but anyway Leo really really loves it. I'm trying to get him to share it with Pumps, otherwise I'm going to have to get her another one. Yeah, my grey cat is called Pumplus. It's a name I've made up, <laughs> if you haven't guessed already. And then I call her Pumps or Pumpy for short. She's got loads of other nicknames as well, like Bumble and Little Girl and Naughty Girl. <laughs> I also decided to let them try some new cat treats. And this is a new company. Usually I buy, like, chicken dry freeze-dried cat treats and this time I thought you know what it's a special occasion let me try a few different things so they had these little frozen fishes or freeze-dried fishes rather Kaplan I think it was called fishes probably saying it wrong and then they've got these quail yolks <laughs> Leo didn't like it he's trying to lick it there but he was just like what the heck is this my grey cat liked it but I always have to break them because she struggles eating things that are like too big so I broke it in half and she eats it it's funny because they're so different I know this is a lot of cat content but you know I love my cats so you're gonna see a lot of this we we're at this park which we've come to like many years ago Lees Leesels yeah that's how you say it there's a bit of history there. Anyhow, let's get going. It's actually raining a little bit, but it's still pleasant. He's got his jacket on that I got, and I've got my new one on. Where did I click this from? It was on sale in Matalan. Look at all of these. Are these the things that you shouldn't touch? Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, I, th I think they were more giant versions. I'm not sure. But wild garlic looks something like this. I saw a photo and I was a bit confused because it looks very similar to this. This is really beautiful. I can't remember seeing this like this before. They've cleaned almost all the lakes that are all ponds, you know. Have yeah, you noticed? Yeah, yeah, they've done a really good this job. This is really nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Doesn't this look like a resort? You know, like, um, <laughs> even like. No, I um, get what you mean. It feels like you should pay for this. Yeah. It, feels, it literally feels like you should pay for it. It's so beautiful. Oh, they do fishing here. It's closed up. Oh, the look, moment. we can go down even. Yeah. Let's go down. There's signs there that said you. Fishing, for fishing yeah. But it's... And. If I fall, you fall. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's so pretty. And we haven't even yeah. stepped down yet. I always think if this is this world, what is heaven like? Yeah. <laughs> because I've never seen, you know, like, this is obviously beautiful. we've been around now and we've seen that the ponds have been cleaned up. I'm so glad we came here. Yeah. All right, do you know how to swim? <laughs> It's, it's not that deep. This is Are up you to sure? your knee. Yeah, yeah, but it gets deeper. That's just this part. Is that seagulls having a swim? I haven't seen seagulls swimming. They are seagulls, yeah. No, I only ever see them flying. This is so gorgeous. Take this in with us. Look at it. Isn't that stunning? 
these are the typical ones you'd see and these and that they've got a heron look over there there's Dalmatian look at that square we're having a conversation for real <laughs> yeah they're having a meeting <laughs> look at the ducks <laughs> They're arguing about who saw the girl first. <laughs> that is so funny. There, for real, look at that. There's one girl stuck in the middle of the two boys. <laughs> Come through the other side now. I could get a close up of him. Dane. Yeah, his is obviously Dane Dalmatian mix. Yeah, his his a pretty like a mix. We're getting closer to the ducks. <laughs> They're still having a meeting. Now we're gonna be going up and then we're gonna have all of this. It's gonna be a lovely view that we'll see from the top. Are you ready? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. We'll see. Oh, it's not actually too bad. Yeah, that's yeah. alright. I know, I was telling When I looked up at it, it looked crazy. No, we're already almost there. Yeah. Good job you're not doing the Korean mountain hikes. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought when I saw it. I thought it was like one of them. No, this is, this is fine. I've come up. And here is a stunning view. I'm not tired, you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> We weren't out of breath, we promise. <laughs> I can still hear you panting. <laughs> <laughs> We've just spoken to quite a few locals and they're really, really nice. They're so polite. And they told us that the best walk is over here. We've spotted two rabbits, but we can never get too close to them. Why are they walked really fast? Are we slow walkers? It's all the way there. It's the root that is the garlic. I think it is. I can smell it. Anyone know? Is this wild garlic? <laughs> Maybe you guys can tell us. Sound. Yeah, oh, I, I, I could live in a rainforest. Not this is, this yeah. is not obviously a rainforest, but <laughs> one can imagine. Look, it's everywhere. Look at that. There's a whole. Yeah. It's all covered. Look, look, look at all of these. I'm so excited. All of these are rabbits. They've, they've all come out on the open. Look at their little tails. It's so cute. I wouldn't get closer, but they're all gonna run away. Should we try? <laughs> try and get closer. That is adorable. You know how long I've been wanting to see like a rabbit up close? Oh, they're already they're running, running away. away. Yeah, because there's someone walking on the other side. This is the closest we've got. Can you see them? Are you recording? Yeah. Get my lovely hubby to hold my musk for me that I've collected. <laughs> I always use this for my DIYs and everyone asks where you get them. You just look for places like this and you find it just growing. This dog's... well, she's been following us. I don't know what she wants. Can I have a look if I've got anything to give her? Look at us, we're so lucky. <laughs> I haven't done that. It's just started raining quite heavily now. As we're about to go home. Look at this one. <laughs> she is posing for the camera. Aren't you? Or are you just stoned? There's a lot of catnip there, isn't there? Yep. You. <laughs> are you high? I think so. Here's Leo with his catnip. <laughs> 
ripping into it. Such a boy, because she doesn't react like that. <laughs> he has to bite it. <laughs> I was about to show you a rare moment. <laughs> With the two cats sitting together, that never happens. Look at how annoyed she is. Look at her tail. <laughs> and Neil's pretending to be good. Yeah, yeah, we just, we know that, you know, you're going to try and fight your sister. He always does this, so whenever we leave the room. Like, he was on his sofa. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Look at how stretched out Neo is. This is how he always sleeps on me. <laughs> and I have to literally put my legs, like, out <laughs> so he can do this. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> There's a squirrel in the house. <laughs> I heard something and I came up and this is what I found. Is it gonna pass? So today I have another get together with my family. We're gonna have like my half siblings come over. I'm just excited to see everyone really. We've cleaned the house from top to bottom. And this is the outfit that I'm wearing. Ignore my trainers, that's just house house shoes. <laughs> Actually, you know what I just thought I haven't done a tour around the house. So remember this is rented and I've got a lot of products. <laughs> There's my moss balls. Don't know how I managed to keep that alive. <laughs> So this is, like I said, lots of products, ignore that. This is my bathroom. And then we go down. I, sh I don't want to show you the rest of the rooms because I haven't tidied everything. <laughs> I had three. This was a BDIY that I did on my channel, but hope you knocked this one off and it broke. So yeah, this is downstairs. Two more of my DIYs there if you follow me on my craft channel. Do you remember them? And then this is the hallway, which I recently did, did like a makeover. And these actually have been changed recently. Those were from Decenio. We got this for free from Amazon. <laughs> I love the basket, that was from Poundland. And I made this myself. I don't just love that. We got this from, was it B&Q? The Royal Wilco or B&Q. And then that big mirror from Dunelm. This room is kind of like a storage room. <laughs> You'll find I'll be sitting there. Yeah, this is like the everything room. It's actually the front room. But we have a tumble dryer. We've got all the exercise machines. I also have some of my crafts. Because I just don't know what to do with them, honestly. And then... This is my tablet. We've just got these two for now because <laughs> we've moved them out the other room. Okay. Yeah, this is the throne. This is where our grey cat sits. It's her favourite chair. And we've got a treadmill that we've never used. <laughs> I used this. Once. No. Yes. Multiple times. Don't blank just because you're on the no, vlog. No, 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 no. no. I'll use it for about 10 days. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm so proud of my day. <laughs> These are some more DIYs that I've done. Like, they're literally everywhere. It's getting out of hand. And then, back here. This is the main room that we sit in. This also has gone under a transformation or a makeover recently. But I really want laminate. Oh, that's the next thing to do. I really want laminate. Hubby fixed the projector up there. Can you see? I was against it first, but then we kind of made it look not too bad. And those are the cushions from Poundland, five quid each. I got this sofa for £50, Ashbach. That's one of my greatest bargains. And I got this for the cat's birthday. They really like it. I've got my Eufy little rubber ball cleaner. That's actually a laundry basket, but we use it for a bin because I couldn't find a bin that I like. And we usually use a white liner so it looks a lot better. The cat's automatic feeder and their radiator beds. And then to the kitchen. We've got under the stairs where I put the 
cat litters. It's really dark in there, but you can there's three litters. And then this is my fridge. <laughs> we have separate everything. This is a mini freezer. We put this side here because we didn't have enough storage and stuff. Some more DIYs and then a few of my charity shop finds. Microwave, air fryers, we use two. Slow cooker, cooker. These, this was in when we moved. So yeah, it doesn't look nice. And all of these, I'd love to change all of this. Like the cabinets, the tabletops. Oh, I really hate them. They're so outdated. This one doesn't even close. It's broken. Um, another slow cooker. You know what, I don't use this anymore really, to be honest, unless I'm doing a massive invite. Like, that was there when we moved in as well. Yeah, I usually use like this and the air fryers and the slow cookers, just don't really bother with that. Um, and then the cupboards. Yeah, I really, really want to change these so bad. They're just, oh, they're just not to my liking. Some more DIYs here. Oh, that's the dishwasher. And this is the food steamer that I always use. Look, there's some things I just really want. The landlord is so lazy, we do everything ourselves. This has a fan go off, so you won't hear me, but um, there's, this is hubby's bathroom, I don't use it. Yeah, he's got loads. Look at how cluttered his products are. <laughs> it's a small bathroom, but it does a job. We've got the desserts and things ready for the invite. Okay guys, I'm cooking again. I don't know why it seems like I'm cooking a lot recently, especially having family over. So I've got my onions. I've actually added a little bit of mixed pickle in with the onions and it just browned together. And then I've got my rice. I'm gonna put all my spices in. And then I've got another slow cooker here. I love slow cookers. I don't really use the actual carb or whatever it's called. <laughs> the stove, yeah. And I'm gonna be making a chicken curry. So I'm gonna add the tomatoes in get that to brown with the onions. So I've got my chopped onions and my tomatoes. I made them brown and shrink as much as possible and then I chopped my chicken into small pieces and I placed them inside and then just made my sauce and added my spices as you can see it always falls into this little room. I need to clean that. So this is actually my second time using this machine. I'm not too sure what to put it on, like in terms of the menu, I put it on stew, it's the curry. Guys, this is one of the best curries I've made. It tastes so good. Da da. I really wish I could like, let you all taste it through the video. And here's the rice, but I just don't want to get rid of all of the steam until everyone comes and they're going to be here in five minutes. This is a salad, I love my salad. We've got a little chopping machine. Someone's enjoying the sun. Hmm? <laughs> so it's my Aunt Marilyn's birthday. I'm putting this box together. So I got the box from Poundland and I've written a, a handwritten note. I'm gonna place this bow right in the middle. I'm gonna write a happy birthday tag and then I'm gonna place all the presents which I'll let you see inside this box. This is all the presents that I've got. Rose fragrance oil. I got all of these from Sadil. I really, really love getting um, like gifts from there. Handmade soap. This opens up and it's got incense in. It's hard to get with one hand. So this is what's inside. It's even got a little miniature dish. Really, really love it. Their stuff is just so cute. And good quality too. Look at this little cute purse. And a daily planner. This looks like a bra. <laughs> It's actually an eye mask. I've got a chamomile lip balm, some earrings, um, a nice purple candle. I think purple's one of her colours that she likes. And then this is a face mask. 
some blue earrings, I think yeah, I showed you that. And then this smells really nice, they do a lot of these, like little packets that you put in a drawers or your wardrobes. They've got bigger ones as well, they've got lots of different ones. So I put the straw in to make it look a little bit more expensive. And this is how I've arranged it in the box. I'm glad it all fits. And here we go, hopefully it gets there on time. It's the worst thing when you get everything ready on time and you post it out on time, but then it gets there not on time. Let me know how you all are and how your week went in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!